Hi again, it's a real pleasure for me to have you here again. I'm, uh, I want to apologize because I couldn't uh, upload the, my, my video yesterday. I had some technical issues and uh, since I believe in practicing what I say, after getting mentally stuck on the technical issues and wanting to solve them, I have a moment of lucidity and thought, maybe it's not the time, maybe you have to stop right now, Some something you're missing because you are mentally trapped, you are not, you are not seeing it, so, so maybe you have to stop and continue tomorrow. So um, I'm really sorry for not uh, satisfying my commitment of, of up uploading a video every, every Sunday, but I'm here again on Monday, probably for good, and uh, today I would like to talk to you about uh, Dacian Yue, which means the walls of uh, sustenance uh, in the sense of foundation. For the um, Shizen, for the Shizen people, the, um, pers the people, a person, even the universe is, is, is constructed out of um, a multiplicity of egos, like um, different uh, different you that get together, that organize, that gather, and that in the way they associate, in the way they influence, is they they finally constitute what you could call uh, your personal powers, your your personal abilities, your personal. Um, uh, manifestations. They said uh, they you know, they used to say that uh, a central ego was hierarchically uh, superior, and, and from that, uh, minor egos um, were born and and were organized, as I was telling you before. As you have um, listened so many times uh, in these videos. Lucidity is about um, emotions, it's about situations that push you and pull you and take you where probably you don't want to go. And, uh, and in this study, they talked about in this um, mix of different egos, about five special ones that were the sustentators the, the ones that could not be tottered, could not be shaken in the, in, in the, in the sense of be, be weakened, in the, to become weak, to, to, be, to be destroyed from the inside. So, so like, you know, like a tree, not when you shake it, but when it's, it's getting weak on the inside and, and it's not rotten, but you know, getting, getting, getting uh, destroyed on the inside. So these five worlds of of egos uh, were were um, were couldn't be tottered. The first one. Uh, let me let me start this time from the from the bottom of them, not from the superior one would be the world of mental clarity. Mental clarity talks about the ego of mental clarity, sorry. The, the mental clarity talks about honesty, about um, that attitude that makes you understand that you must work before obtaining a reward, that there are no shortcuts in life, that as Ogawa Sensei used to say, that you earn a right after you have accomplished uh, an obligation, a duty. So mental clarity is this kind of um, cleanliness, of cleanliness of your mind, of, of, of clean look, of clean staring stance. So, so it's the first one. This is the first one that must not be tottered, that must, must not be uh, awakened. The second one would be the world of condition ego of the of the ego of condition this this ego this world talks about um, about the idea of 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 the, the universe is made of 
of access of conditions of a, of a structure that tells you that in order to get some results or to some results to happen there are some steps to, f to fulfill and if you don't fill up this this checklist nothing is going to happen as you want or on the other way uh, on the other way around if 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 the certain conditions are not fulfilled the bad things or the bad situations are not going to happen to you think of a recipe if you don't put the ingredients on the right time on the right moment and you don't apply the the right steps nothing is going to happen nothing is going to happen to you for good and no situation is going to happen in any sense that you can think of it's uh, at the end of the day it's um, the idea that uh, reality must not be ignored it's not to ignore we have to understand uh, reality and to be conscious of that if you go um, a step further you could arrive to the world of, of, of wisdom, of the ego of wisdom this ego talks about um, about the application of, of knowledge for the Shizen wisdom was the size, the practical side of knowledge of 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 of, of of uh, understanding of the world maybe you can think about physics and then if you are if you are if you are um, familiar with physics you know that there is there is an energy and there is force or work and one is like the application of the other wisdom would be that that idea and uh, it's to know what you have and how to use it your resources and the, and the broader aspect of it. It's uh, to harmonize, it is not to resist, uh, to go against the flowing current of the universe because uh, it's, it's probably the, the dumbest thing you can do to go against circumstances, to go against uh, the laws that surround you no one no one would feel strange or alienated if, if I tell him or tell her you cannot uh, jump up because there is something that's called the law of gravity then this would be not wisdom not not wise to do so this is this is wisdom for them so don't don't do things that have no sense that make no sense um, it's at the end it is to be conscious of consequences the world of oh, the ego of wisdom is fundated on condition and it's, it would be like like if the axis of conditions are the basement for wisdom to happen if you take the laws of the universe and you look them from a perspective of consequences uh, then you have wisdom then you go step further uh, a level beyond you on your on your path of consciousness conscious the ego or uh, consciousness or the ego of consciousness could be the the next level it's uh, and it talks about it talks about um, you know that that judge that it's above all this material laws of this material uh, scenario and that cannot be moved by material things it's like an unstable uh, perspective an unstable look from above that can consider and, and, and that cannot be that cannot be influ um, cannot be influenced by 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 this material laws and it's like it's it's a, a major unitary principle and it's a major unitary principle that actually it's a 
repetition of the last of the levels, that is the spiritual ego. This ego talks about unity in a, and, and belief in a superior ego, in a, in a superior thing that makes the world compact, that, that makes a collective unity. It's the idea of, of one that is present in, in many cultures and in, in all human understanding and, and, uh, and what the experience of human living is. So, so let me talk about, this would be the five, the five of them, but let me, in this occasion, uh, if I can tell you to put this into practice, as I normally say, Let's go a little beyond and this let's get together let's get let's get focused sorry on on condition ego and wisdom ego because it is nice to have um this spiritual understanding of of a union of a common union with everything that surrounds you and it's and we have worked many times this concept of consciousness that that makes you that ma makes you go beyond emotions and material things and mental stuff but probably it touches us quite close this condition ego and wisdom ego and it's and, and for the day by day life it's quite interesting to start looking at things at situations at feelings at uh, circumstances that surround you um, from this, um, uh, to look at them as a series of condition that of conditions that have had to be there to for things to happen, and to to look at things um, with that kind of serenity, of peace of mind, of um, of real understanding that at the end. Uh, Things happen because they have to happen, and uh, and that wisdom is to understand them and to get some advantage from the understanding, not to resist to them, not to not to make uh, some expectations and to get frustrated when they don't become real because because a true understanding of of the axis of conditions. Um, liberates you, uh, liberates you from from this kind of of emotional and trapped. So, so if you can, if you want to take my advice, this week have uh, into consideration to look at things, to look at situations, to look at every little thing that happen around you, um, and look at uh, and try to analyze what conditions. Um, did led to things to this particular situation, and then try to see the consequences of your actions and uh, of your position of, of your positioning. And once you have done this, try to reflect on the on as I was telling you on the consequences or on the position you are taking with respect to to these uh, circumstances and try to create a little more profound on this condition ego and wisdom ego and if you feel like um, wanting to share your discoveries it would be a real pleasure for me to uh, hear about them and, and, and maybe share some discussion with you thank you so much for your attention and i hope you i hope to, to have you to have you sorry next week uh, next sunday and uh, in these dates so Family, so to enjoy with your family, have a very very nice weekend. Enjoy your your celebrations this week, and uh, see you again on Sunday. Thank you so much.